I got my ass kicked a couple times for being like an obnoxious little it was, bastard. It was more like wedgies. I mean, <laughs> harmless. First thing, Oliver started playing bass. He got electric bass for Christmas. As a teen. And hated it. So he gave it to me. Uh, and then he took up guitar, so that's how that started. Chris kind of disappeared in his room for a couple of years, and he came out like an amazing teenage bass monster. You can't keep me from laughing. It's a dream come true. We grew up here. Saw our first concerts here. Over the years, we've opened for other people here. It did feel a little more magical today than, than past times, like yeah. just as we approached it and it appeared yeah. on the horizon, it yeah. was like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Our dad played guitar and sang all the time. He's a folk guy, knows a million folk songs. That was uh, an obvious influence that we probably took for granted. Because we went in our own directions for like 15 yeah. years, played in different bands, and then we were on a double bill together. That was the uh, the fateful jam. It had that brother synergy that I think you're getting at. James Brown, Sly Stone, Ray singer, Charles, Ray Willie Charles, Nelson. But then you have like John Prine and the band and the Beatles. And the Beatles. Jono's influences come into it. Because Jono incredible drummer and piano player and jazz influences, but yeah. pop influences, yeah. hip hop influences. It's got a real name, it's the Shitar. It's kind of what it sounds like. Uh, <laughs> it started as a crappy guitar, but now it's a percussion instrument. It has two pickups internally and a mic on it. They probably just weren't hooked up yet. It's got clothes pins on it, it's got shakers strapped to it. It's got tambourine jangles all around it. When we have a support act, you know, we like to make the whole night a show, so it's cool to collaborate with the opening act. So we've done that with just about any opening act we've ever had. Maybe a couple weeks ago where we texted and Steep Canyon Rangers and sent them a song, said, hey, you guys want to do this song that night? And and uh, they're like, sure. And so today we'll get together for 15, 20 minutes and throw together an arrangement and just trust that we are all, um, you know, reading each other's minds enough to, to make it musical and fun. You just have to use your imagination yeah. and then yeah. hope for the best. A gig. <laughs> like, just really try to stay in that That's mindset. Just so we don't get freaked out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just like, just another, just gig. another show. Not to try to play everything perfect and be like, yeah, maybe we'll release a live at Red Rocks album. Just keep be it like, a little cynical, just to like not get too try to be uh, loose, too overwhelmed yeah. by it all. It's gonna have suck. it be a little okay. bit of a mess. It's like a gathering place too. I mean, you yeah. know, yeah. people who are flying in. Yeah. So it's just, it's just like attracts people from all over. I think that's what makes it really special. Yeah. Uh, 